Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I have another episode of Great Card video for you and in this episode I'll show you a credit card statement which I have recently received and this credit card account actually was zeroed out and closed some time ago and I had a negative balance uh, on this credit account. Uh, it was approximately $66 negative balance and which was refunded to me because I called them and asked them to close the account and I got back the money but all of a sudden after some uh, weeks or months I received a statement f stating that uh, I have a credit card balance which have, has to be paid so I was totally surprised but I ha kind of had an idea of what exactly happened so this is what I'll talk about in this video uh, just to uh, show you and if such things happen to you you'll know what to do uh, in the future Hello everyone, so I'll just go over some numbers with you just to show you what's really happening here. So if you look at here, new balance is $5.94 and your minimum uh, due date is September 28, 2017. And uh, same kind of information here. It's a previous statement balance $61.05, new purchase is $66.99. And your new balance is five dollars and ninety four cents. So this sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents, although it shows new purchase, it's not a new purchase. Uh, which I'll show you. Let me just flip over here. Okay, so if you look at this line here, it says credit balance refund, which is sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents, and if you look here previous balance refund which is sixty one dollars and five cents and there is a purchase which is five dollars and ninety one ninety eight cents so this is actually it's not a purchase it's a payment so i had a negative fifty one dollars and five cents and i paid them again five dollars and ninety eight cents uh, just to make sure that the system doesn't charge me an interest now what they did they added up everything and it became $66.99 right here and that's the money actually they refunded me now what happened here because the system had a negative balance uh, the credit card system thought uh, I believe it doesn't know how to deal with negative negative balance so it thought that I had actually a positive balance and then it calculated interest uh, based on that and it charged uh, five dollars and ninety four cent four cents interest and which it's asking me to pay by September 9 2000 September 26 2017 so most of the people would just get a statement like this once you close your credit card and you think that you know this is just to ignore or you wouldn't do anything but you shouldn't do that because what happens here this is already recorded on the credit company system for under this credit card uh, although it's closed but still the account is active on their side and this is recorded as a negative balance or as a due balance which i have to pay and the system is expecting me to pay this balance by September 26, 20, uh, 2017, five dollars and ninety four cents. Although there's no, there shouldn't be any such balance because uh, they were just refunding my money to me, which was sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, it's right uh, here. So, but because of the credit balance the credit card had, they were just you know its system was just calculating it as a purchase, and then it just charging interest to pay that. So what I did, I called them and I told them about the situation and the customer service rep looked at it and uh, he found out that uh, this is what happened and then he mentioned me that he's going to uh, 
remove this uh, balance or remove this payment due from the system and they will issue me uh, issue a letter to my to me uh, mentioning that you know this credit card has been closed before and it has been paid in full so there's no such balance or there's nothing to pay so just to ignore this statement and that's the end of the story so if you have a situation like this do not just you know uh, shred the statement or throw out the paper just call them and make sure that they remove that negative uh, amount or the payment due amount from their system otherwise the system will automatically generate a report to the credit uh, reporting agency if you do not pay this amount by due date so it will be reported under your name and you're going to be uh, showing a late payment under your credit file so whenever this things happens you should call them uh, and sort it out before you ignore or choose not to call them so i hope this is going to be helpful uh that's all for now if you like what you see please give it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more video coming up thank you